and welcome back to another scratch tutorial look this time I have my scratch background woohoo see scratch background that's the scratch cat right there see that's the scratch cat okay so today we're going to learn about the conditionals which are so first we learned about the loops earlier which were the repeat forever and the repeat until so today we're going to learn conditionals. Okay, so we're going to learn about conditionals, which is the if then, the if then else, the wait until. Um, yeah, so those are the conditional blocks, okay? Great. So are you ready to get started? Woohoo! Okay, before we even explain blocks, let's first understand what a conditional is. So, this is going to be a good example for you guys. Um, so, let's say we're going, we want to play video games or watch TV, okay? But our parents say, no watching TV unless you finish your homework. See, the condition is that, so if you do your homework, then you get to watch TV or play video games. Understand? So the first block we're gonna go over today is, give me a minute, yep, there, is the um, if then block. Right there, which is number one. And the second block we're gonna go over is the if then else, which is number two. And the third block we're going to go over is the wait on till. Yep, so we're done. So this is the order we're going to go over. So let's start with the first one. The if then else. So let me first move my camera down to this section here. here. Okay. So this is the one we're going to do. So let's see right there. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to do the if then. So let's first understand the logic of what an if then block is. So an if then block is basically when you, let's say this. If you work hard, you will succeed, right? right. It's kind of like the first example I gave. So look, so if you do your homework, then you get, your, you get to play video games or watch TV. Okay, so that's an if then block. So if that condition is true, the code could, codes should execute. Yeah, so you guys might be wondering what should we put in this section. We'll go over this in the next two video sensing and operators. But for now, let's um, go over these ones and then next video we're gonna go over the sensing blocks. Then we can start putting stuff in these blocks. Okay, great. Okay, so the next one we're going to go over is the if then else. So this is going to be my hard work succeed example. So if you work hard, then you succeed. Else you, you fail. Hug. So you understand it's the same thing as an if then, but then you basically add an L. So if this thing happens, then do that. So if this happens, do that. And then if that does not happen, do that. Okay? Understand. Great! Okay, so the next one we're gonna go over is the wait until. Boom. Delete that one. Wait until. Great. So this one is a great block. So wait until is, as you can see, there's a wait one second. Let me just explain that something. It's like waiting a few seconds before you do the next block of code. But this thing, you might think it might be the same thing. But wait until is also a condition. So let's say your parents say, wait until so let's say you're in a basketball game okay and the coach says wait until you score a bucket okay 
okay? So it's kind of like the first block I just explained real quick. Wait one second. But it's like more better. You can wait until an event happens. So you can wait until, look, you can, I think we went over these, so we can wait until the uh, something like X position is equal to the Y position, something like that. Okay, let me show you a few examples that I love. So let's show you this example. How about when green flag clicked, forever loop, if then, so let's see, if this is a block in the sensing, touching, um, let me add a new sprite. If touching apple, so if touching apple, so if touching apple, then move 10 steps. And then change color effect and then change fiche effect and then change world. So I'm using looks blocks and motion blocks and one sensing block that we haven't learned. This is actually not going to be just one example. It's gonna be a funny one, okay? I bet you guys are all gonna fall off your chairs laughing. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So we have to first make it touch that for all this code to execute. Okay, I think we have to exit full screen. There I go. There I go touching the apple. I'm touching the apple and we click flag. Look at that, oh man, that's pretty funny. And there we go. Whoa, that cat looks really funny. It just completely changed. Okay guys, let me show you another example. Touching apple, then let's see, play a sound. Let's say we want. So we're going to do something like if touching something, play a sound. So I took away all those purple and blue blocks, which are the motion looks. We're going to go to sounds, the tab here, and let me choose a sound. Let me type in. I think this is a good music. Great. Yeah. So I just got the music. Okay, wait, let me stop. Okay, so we can get a music. I just added one. And then we will um now the fun part is putting the block in. So play sound until done. Dance celebrate. So we have to make sure that cat's touching and then go full screen. <laughs> Music so good. Okay, guys, you understand? Great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, using your time to watch this Scratch tutorial. If you haven't, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Abhijay's Fun World, and put a like on this video as well. And you guys should try using these blocks to do these, okay? So these are some great blocks and very useful. Just tune in for my sensing one. Thank you all guys for watching this video. Bye!